Hello, Doug here with Air Hydropower. With so many different product offerings here at Air Hydropower, I thought I'd take you through some of the mechanical and pneumatic options we have for you. So starting here with the Lego set for adults is the 8020 product line. And uh, as you can see, catalog, <laughs> huge catalog full of components and, and options. But, uh, and you can see from this uh, pretty cool uh, demo set we have here, um, it kind of displays all the various uh, options from, you can see all the different types of extrusion um, that you can get, even the uh, different colored anodized extrusions um, to the different uh, plates that you can get for uh, in between the, for, or panels, I should say, uh, whether it's solid panels, clear panels, or fencing. And, uh, and then of course, all the varieties of handles, uh, latches, um, locks uh, um, and so uh, and like I said the different colors uh, there's different in inlays for even in between the slots if you want to uh, have different uh, options or labeling there for your different benches or workstations so uh, just a, a really neat fun <laughs> Uh, product line there because, like I said it's the Legos for adults so it's kind of fun to, uh, to work with um, moving on so uh, you know coming off your compressor we've got to uh, have an offering for for pipe right how are you going to get that compressed air out to your machines and we use trans air exclusively uh, from Parker so this is a uh, aluminum pipe um, as opposed to that nasty uh, black iron pipe uh, this pipe instead of having to cut all that black iron and thread it um, this is extremely easy to cut, but then on these, these are just push-in fittings, and then you, you can just hand tighten these down for the most part. Um, and so just a great easy option for not only that, that first install um, to save you time there, but then also uh, after your first install, whenever you want to go in and, and add a, a drop somewhere in your plant, it's so much easier to just very quickly drill a hole and add, uh, you know, add one of these um, couplers here and you can drop a line down exactly where you need it. So just a, a great easy product to work with there. Uh, then getting into filtration, of course, we've got uh, point of use filtration. We've got general purpose coming off of your compressor, uh, whether it's dryers, um, general purpose, coalescing, desiccants, uh, you know, just ask us. <laughs> we've, we've got something. Uh, and then even uh, Tsunami. So Tsunami, uh, their filters um, are, are, have been great for using with our pulse valves with uh, dust on dust collector applications. And I'll get to that in just a moment. Um, so you guys are probably very much aware we've got uh, plenty of different tubing, different colors for you, general fittings, push to connect fittings, all that. Uh, you might not be aware of the the specialty fittings and, and tubing that we have. So um, whether it's the brass or different composites or stainless steel, uh, we've even got um, fittings specifically for the water and beverage industry, as you see there. Another cool thing is we've even got these uh, really neat couplers. So these are custom couplers, and these little inserts can actually be uh, it, you know, pulled out in exchange for different inserts, but you can customize these. And so these actually get plugged together as such. And so that way, instead of having to plug in each individual line and possibly mixing them up, this comes as, as you can see, there's only one way this is going together. And so this is a combination of pneumatic, electrical, and even a uh, fluid. So some type of oil uh, could be actually, um, you know, conveyed through that middle board as well. So really interesting uh, coupler type of solution there for everyone. Uh, then moving into the different valves. So uh, you can see little uh, manual uh, mechanical style valves, flow controls, um, you know, air lever actuated valves. So uh, you kind of, you guys are mostly familiar with that. And then we've even got um, safety valves. So safety shutoffs, even quick exhaust valves. Going into, uh, you know, traditional um, industrial ball valves, or we also have butterfly valves and knife gate valves. Um, and then getting into, here's that pulse valve I talked to you about, dust collectors, and I'm going to touch on that in a moment. Um, I've got it here because uh, what Mac has done is they've now used in their uh, Mac pulse valve, which has a much higher flow, so we can 
um, get up into that 100 CV if you're familiar with that term, but uh, we can add a stepper motor to this to give you proportional control. So we're typically you're just turning a ball valve on and off uh, where you want that proportional control. We can now offer that to you in this package. So uh, great new option there. Uh, you guys are very familiar with our, our Mac valve offering solenoid valves, whether it's inline or uh, uh, sub base manifold mount. Uh, we've got the Mayo platform. So this is for field bus communication. Here you can see we've got the Ethernet IP um, fully loaded. Uh, we've got all the different options from um, IOs to um, uh, power, uh, power Plus modules. So um, you can ask more about that uh, later. A great feature here is it uses the same valves that we use on our other platform. So um, if you've been using the 92 series valve, for instance, our most uh, popular um, series for these manifolds, uh, or for manifolds, I should say, then you can use those same 92 series for the new mile platform. So great advantage there. Uh, and then getting into this, the pulse valve I mentioned, the biggest cost saver here for our customers. Um, most customers have dust collectors. And so, and if they aren't using a Mac valve, they're using some style of diaphragm valve, which looks like this. And it's just, you can kind of see there's this little plastic or rubber gasket in there, and that's the diaphragm. And, uh, and so we are replacing these diaphragm style valves uh, with a little adapter and then we put on the max spool valve and because we've got a spool valve instead of a diaphragm lasting much longer up to 10 times as long and so we're getting that longer life uh, better energy efficiency longer filter life less maintenance just a fantastic all around less than a one year roi uh, usually around 50 percent energy savings on your dust collector so great solution there uh, other types of uh, cool uh, valving solutions. Uh, here we've got a proportional flow control. Um, so you can see this is a little bitty valve, but uh, based off the Mac bullet valve, which you see here and here, uh, it's got a little stepper motor, so we get uh, some real fine um, metering of your uh, uh, pneumatic flow here. So great proportional flow control options. And that goes obviously from you know, really small flow all the way up to, uh, you know, like I said, uh, 100 uh, CV. And then um, uh, you can just see a couple different options here. You can, these are custom solutions using that uh, Mac bullet valve. This, some of these valves can go up to a thousand hertz. That is a thousand cycles per second, which is just mind blowing. And then uh, we're talking hundreds of millions of cycles that these things can get. So just uh, crazy crazy good on performance here. Um, then we can get into a proportional pressure control valve, a PPC. Uh, so this is where, hey, I, I, I can't just set my uh, my pressure and leave it. Uh, I've got to be, you know, changing that pressure throughout the process, or I've got to have very uh, fine control of that pressure. So that's where our proportional pressure control valve can come into play. Uh, now moving on to actuators, you can see all sorts of actuators here. I'm not going to hit on everyone. I'll, I'll I'll save you guys from that. But you can see some you know some of the standard ones: extruded, compact, you know, round body, um, rotary actuator, slides, uh, different grippers, uh, swing arm clamps, and then even getting into the custom actuator so here's a great example to where we worked with our customer they need a fit form and function so uh, this was actually 3d printed by phd um, and you can see they even 3d printed the uh, mac valve on there um, or you know what will be or what is and uh, and then that way the customer was able to take this and install it onto a machine to make sure that we had the right um uh, pin to pin dimension for them so just a, a great offering for um coming up with that unique solution for our customers uh, and some other unique solutions we um, we've done for customers uh, full assemblies so you can see a valve manifold you know with all the fittings uh, even a pressure transducer and uh, custom um, uh, cable ends and connectors
So, uh, and then going into other combos, right? The valve actuator combo. Uh, so that way it can just be one part for the customer and it comes pre-assembled with the valve, tubing, fittings, everything ready to go for the customer to just mount to their machine. Uh, here's another uh, interesting one, once again, the valve actuator combo. This is on a pinch valve, which is literally just an actuator, but you're, you're actually pinching the tube. So here, if you've got some uh, harsh chemicals that you don't want going through your valves, you can take it through your tubing. So if the tubing ever wears, you replace the tubing, and then that way, uh, your actuator is just pinching and closing off that tube. So instead of that liquid going through the valve, it's just going through that tube. So neat little solution there. Uh, and then when your actuators are growing too fast and you need to, you know, cushion them a little, little bit, we've got the shock absorbers, um, vibration control, and isolation from ACE uh, controls. Uh, and then here you can see a couple examples of our electric actuators. So we've got everything from these uh, linear, whether it's inline um, or foldback design, um, to then even we've got uh, electric slides as well. This is a pneumatic, but we've got the same in electric as well. Uh, we've even got the electric grippers and um, full range of electric products. Uh, and then back here, this is uh, this is such a great uh, cost saver as well for our customers. Um, this is one of the many drop-in solutions for plastic packaging machines. Um, so OEM um, equipment that is, uh, you know, you're having uh, some of these plastic packaging components that are having a short lifespan, maybe a few months, six months. PhD has some drop-in replacements for them that are lasting longer, more available, and very cost competitive. So that's uh, been a, a great way for our customers to save money in the plastic packaging industry. Um, oh, actually, before I go on, I should also mention that when it comes down to uh, PhD and some gripper options, uh, they also have the uh, end of a end of arm tooling uh, kind of combination here where you can get the uh, new connect, um, whether it's the single or the double. So that way you can have actually two grippers on the end of your UR robot. Uh, so they can do the full solution from the new connect to the gripper um, and even your custom tooling if, if need be on your robot. So great option there. Uh, speaking of end of arm tooling, of course, suction cups are, uh, you know, uh, used widely out there. So PHD has a full variety, whether it's, uh, you know, whether you want the type of cup that, you know, can come apart different, uh, the the lips actually come separate from the bellows, um, or you want dual durometer, um, cups for that uh, oily oily surfaces, the automotive industry, that oily sheet metal, uh, high temp, uh, food and bev, and even ones for bags. So a huge variety of cups. This doesn't even scratch the surface, surface there. Uh, and then moving into the variety of pumps. So from your inline pumps, um, and vacuum generators to uh, your VGS, uh, decentralized style pumps, as you can see here. And uh, then your centralized pumps, your Pi, um, Pi Classic pumps, and then even uh, the Pi Compact. So this is a, a great one, it gives you a lot of flexibility, it even has aisle link uh, uh, capabilities um, for your end of robot um, needs there. So, uh, and along with safety, of course, uh, Pi Hub has uh, safety options here to make sure that we're holding on to those parts if the um, air supply goes out or, or you lose power. So great safety products. Um, you can also see here, we've got a little Pi soft grip, apply vacuum to here, and uh, it's a great little picker for fruits and veggies, a variety of uh, shapes and sizes. And, and that leads us right into uh, the Kino style. So you can see here, we've got a closed cell foam uh, gripper and so this way you can pick up all sorts of shapes and sizes of parts uh, you can see a video of that later um, but you can see we've got uh, a, a longer thinner version here and then you've we've even got this smaller one here that adapts directly to your UR robot so a uh, big product offering there um, our customers are really uh, enjoying the flexibility of that product and going back here to uh, the robotic gripping offering from Piab. And so here's your, uh, once again, end of arm tooling or uh, and transfer presses as well. Uh, you know, 
variety of components and they we can also do a complete custom uh, tool for you as well using all those components and speaking of end of arm tooling uh, we get into the tri-axis tooling from PhD and this has been a big hit with our customers um, they're tired of the kind of <laughs> the short life sometimes of the of the standard tooling out there and and they've really been liking the the ruggedness of this PhD um, offering for triaxis they love that it's anodized um, the tight tolerances make it uh, much more rigid of a of a complete solution in your fingers um, and then when you couple that with the uh, PhD GRM series clamps um, it's it's virtually unstoppable on tri triaxis um, application so uh that you know gives you a very very quick and brief rundown of a lot of our product offerings but uh just thought i'd run down run down it for you real quick so uh thanks for watching and uh come back for more take care everyone